Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo in Parkway RV Center. Today, guys, we're going to do something a little different. Let's cover a back row bargain. But not just any back row bargain. I got to admit, I kind of geeked out when I saw this one. Um, just a clean, clean little camper, guys. If you're wanting something cheap to camp in, cheap to live in, but you want a nice camper, I highly advise you to take a, a good look at this one. This is a 1998 Dutchman Classic 28 FBSL. And guys, it is 30 feet long. It has one hydraulic slide out. They built them, they built them different back then, guys. Um, I even ran the generator down here so I can plug it up, turn the air, air on to see what works. And guys, this is a clean camper. Um, it's just the age of it. Guys, we don't have the manpower to do a checkout or anything so we're just selling it back row bargain as is where it is and what we'll do is kind of you know like all of our back row bargains kind of do like i've set up right now i've got a 4000 watt generator hooked to 30 amp power plugged into this you can see what works and what doesn't so far everything i've touched works i uh, got a power tongue jack that works slide out is hydraulic and it works great um dry weight's about 6200 pounds approximately got a slide topper that looks like it's in good shape this this camper's been taken care of guys it's not just a standard old 1998 dutchman this is actually a very nice camper i think will sell very quickly you know travel trailers or slides under ten thousand dollars are very few and far between and i think this is a nice one uh got hooked into 30 amp electrical power i mean Got the crown roof. You know, it's like I always say, they don't make them like they used to. And this is just another example of that, guys. Of course, got the metal siding, and you can see the stripes look good. I mean, a couple of the decals might need to be touched up a little bit, but who cares? It's a 98 model. Tires look great. Got a six gallon water heater, got the lights on, got a big awning. Looks like it's got some tape on the awning, but guys, you know, as with any back row bargains, we're selling it as is, where it is, take the good with any potential bad. I just went the extra step and went ahead and plugged the generator up to it because I locked it. I'm a sucker for older RVs, guys, always have been, so I kind of spend more time on them than I should. Let's just say that as far as advertising, but I don't think you'll complain. Got some tape on the awning canvas, so I don't know about the awning, but but look inside this thing. And there's no smoke or pad odors in here. That's what surprised me. But look at this thing. Original carpet. Original upholstery. And I know these are outdated color. I know it. I know it. It's a it's 24-year-old camper. Looks like the original mattress, which I'd probably change that out. Look at this thing, guys. Nothing hanging down. Solid as a rock. I don't see any soft spots anywhere. I've been through this thing. Even the uh, radio still works. Cut that down for your copyright flag. But how cool is that? Um, even still has the original slide out plug. See, back then, to get power to your 12 volt lights and slide outs, you had to have a plug. And you had to remove that plug every time he brought the room in and out. And they still had the original plug in here. And I plugged it in so you can turn these lights on. And it's also got one on the other side I went ahead and hooked up that provides 110 power to the outlets in the slide out. You know, now everything's tucked in and wired up straight. You don't have to worry about that. But back then it wasn't. In fact, the slide out switch for this thing, my guys couldn't find it. They're not used to dealing with these older ones like I am. It took me 10 seconds to find it. On these Dutchmans, they, the slide out switch is on the outside. But it is a hydraulic slide. I mean, look at this thing. Even up here, guys, no water damage, no swelling anywhere. I mean, this is a nice camper for a 98 model. Uh, you've got a table booth and a sleeper sofa. So you can sleep four up here, two in the front, six total. Looks like somebody's painted the countertops at one time in the past, but didn't do too bad a job. Uh, of course, TV's out of it. They got a little AC-DC converter. I'm going to leave everything in it, guys. Got a coffee maker. 
uh, all that good stuff. Three burner stove top. Been used a little bit, but not bad. I don't think this has been a live-in camper, guys. It just doesn't look like it to me. Um, cabinets. Ah, oh, check out the OG camping dishes. This is stuff I used when I was a kid. Plastic. <laughs> uh, look at that, guys. Already got your uh, a nice dish set already included. <laughs> this stuff's probably from the 90s. That's cool. Um, microwave comes on. I really don't want to turn it on too much because I don't want too much on this generator. And this is one of them it takes. I'm going to turn it on just for a second. It works. I don't want to. I don't want to flip the breaker on the generator because I got the AC, the fridge, and and all that on the generator. But it comes on. So, ain't this cool camper, guys? And I know y'all may not. Y'all may think, Bo, you're being a little over exaggerated for a '98 camper. But I geek out over older RVs. I always have. Check out the tribe. Heck, that's a thing of the past now, or will be soon if it's not already. Um bathroom it's solid big tub great airflow i mean you might have to put a shower curtain in here but at least they left the rod and the hooks in there and it needs a lot cleaned up guys it just came in i mean we sell it like it is but but just a neat camper um if you're needing something cheap to camp in or cheap to live in i mean heck this is this is the way to go i mean for 89.95 I mean, fridge. Uh, I left the fridge on, but I'm waiting for it to get cold. But, I mean, you see the AC's blowing nice and cold. Uh, lights work, slide works. You know, let's see if the... This looks like original fridge. But it actually don't look bad. Um, back of the freezer, I don't know if it's getting cold yet. I... I hate to say yes or no till I know for sure, guys. So I'm going to just leave that. Of course, it's 71. I, you know, if I came back in an hour and checked that, but if I left the generator on that long, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, if it worked fine. But, but guys, I don't assume anything. I'd rather let you make that assumption. Uh, got some candles. Of course, I don't recommend lighting those, but... I guess they're for decoration. You got some storage underneath the bed. Got some drawer space. You got one drawer off track there, which is, looks like they left some RCA cords. And Lord, remember those things? <laughs> oh, I do like the sliding doors too. You know, that's all these newer campers, all these lighter newer campers now don't have this. And it's actually a big bedroom. Um, big bedroom like i said guys it, it's i'm geeking i know um but 89.95 while it lasts which may not be too long i mean i don't have anything out here that's nice for this price and i know most dealers you go hey i want to see a, sli a nice uh, travel trailer with a slide out for 89.95 they're gonna tell you yeah 89.95 in fees maybe but not the price <laughs> or 89.95 down if you want to finance about the other 80 percent of it um but guys this is a nice unit of course there's no financing on it it's cash sale only i don't have any banks that go back to a 98 model I and mean, if you ha if you have to have financing you may have to check with your own bank or credit union get a loan on the camper or get a do what i do anything under this price range under 10 i just get a personal loan the signature loan take you about my bank, I can call them up. Hey, I need ten grand uh, personal loan. They, they said come come up in an hour, sign the papers. Of course, I got a great relationship, and I still have a local bank. So, you know, I know you can't always do that with the big banks, but you know, it's pretty simple to get a loan like that if you've got any, if you've got decent credit. Um, but guys, you know, if you need to borrow money, that's what I would do, or borrow it on the camper if you want to. If they'll if they'll go back to ninety eight. My lenders won't. They won't go much under about 2003, 2004. 
unless you just uh, you know and they might go another year or two back from that if you've just got like a 800 plus credit score still or credit and playing a bunch paying a bunch of money down but they're not going to go to a 98 for nobody not for 89.95 and we do take trade-ins check out this camper guy and i know I, i'm i'm probably overselling it a little bit but just i, I like them um the older motor homes older campers older fifth wheels just when you get one in that's this clean i don't like them when they're junky they've been lived in they're trashed not a big fan of those but when you get one like this in that i can sell for this price it's this clean this well kept you know usually people take those bar stools out they're still in here um just a neat camper if it's something you think you're interested in pick up the phone and call 706-965-7929 i'm putting this on the back row bargains page so it will be sold as is where it is give us try to give us a day's notice if you want to have it hooked up to power because we can make sure the generator is not somebody else hadn't signed it out and make sure it's got fuel in it and we'll plug it into power um get everything on but um but you know make sure you call ahead get that and you probably want to call leave a deposit on if you want to buy it i mean i can't imagine anybody complaining about this one for that price i mean this is this is a lot of camper for that for under 10 grand with a slide very well built um compared to most i think my generator might be running low on fuel but um starting to die out but anyway guys the air works uh lights work slides work like i said i'm just gonna wait on the fridge uh i mean i know it hasn't dropped any just in the last few minutes but i'll check it before i sign off on the video with 71 let's see here sometimes it might surprise you it's about the same like i said we may have to just let this thing set and, and run for a while but see if it works or if it doesn't like i said we make no guarantees no warranties no promises on a back row bargains piece what you see is what you get you're buying it the same way we did as is where it is good with the bad tires look good i think the tires have been recently changed um and just as solid as they come but that's my opinion so come out and look at it for yourself see what you think let me know in the comments what you think um you know if it was mine i'd probably put a new mattress in it uh queen mattress hey, i've been giving it a good cleanup honestly guys i like these colors i mean this this is i know this old school camping but um i like them um a lot of nostalgia because when i first started selling rvs and did then started doing videos several years later you know this, this is a lot of what we sold back then of course you know different era different prices but um yeah nice little camper or medium-sized camper thank y'all for watching make sure you smash me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel uh check us out on facebook uh rvs with big bow and of course you can always message me on facebook guys i don't take phone calls normally um uh, so if you want to get in touch with me just go to my facebook page send me a message and i'll reply to you as soon as i can um but hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button. I obviously try to put a variety on my channel of a little bit of everything. But thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Just a quick disclaimer, guys. That price, $89.95, is plus applicable sales tax. It is haggle-free, firm. Doesn't matter how you pay for it. Lost his verified funds, cash, cashier's check, wire transfer. Uh, I mean, it's a nice camper. Come look at it. Be your own judge. I've got some other stuff over here, too, uh, on the back row bargains that I'll try to shoot uh, when I can. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Guys, just a quick add-on, refrigerator does work. It was 72, 71, and been about five minutes, and it's dropping now. So it is, it does, it is working. 99% of the time when the back of the freezer starts getting cold, the rest of it's just a few hours behind. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.